Hello everyone, welcome back to SP3 tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to place stairs in our equipment rack. Okay. Click on this plant, go to metric unit, click OK. After clicking OK, this window will appear. In this window, click on this file. Go to define workspace. Drop down the filter and select the filter which we have created in previous video. Click OK. OK again. Go to common views, in this common view, go to isometric, drag your structure, okay. expand this, expand next structure in it, right click on pipe rack, select nested, right click and hide this, okay. change the view, now we will place share in this, okay. For placing stair, go to task, go to structure. Okay. Now we will create in this equipment unit, we will create one new system. Right click, new system, structure system, give the name stairs. Click OK. Under this stairs, we will create stair. For creating stair, there is an option. You can see that place stair, click on this. After clicking on this, select the stairs, any type, click on the stair, you can see the preview, this is the stair, click on OK. After clicking OK, go to the system, click on more, click on structure unit, equipment rack and click on stairs, click OK. Okay. Now for giving stairs first of all we need to select the top edge this is the top edge only select this top edge after selecting this top edge we need to select one bottom plane this is the bottom plane of this stair click on this after clicking on this we need to select an vertical member or reference edge okay you can select this select this now we can see that in top view okay now we need to select one position for positioning click on the center after clicking we need to convert our stair to this side for creating it click on this side option okay after clicking on this side the stair will convert to this side okay now what we need to do there is some gap for filling this gap First of all, click on this finish only. Now, what we will do? Right click, go to properties. In this properties, drop down, change this option with the top, in, top landing line to click on this and make it true. Click on apply. After applying, again drop down, change this. Top landing length, make it 1250. Okay, after making it 1250, click on apply. You can see that our stair is matching this case. Okay, one more stair we need to create from this side to this side. For that, first of all, we will copy this structure. For copying this structure, click on this. One beam. Control, second beam, third beam, and this slab also. After selecting this slab, what we need to do? Select this copy option. Now, what we need to do? We need to select the point. After selecting this point, what we need to do? Go to this pin point option, reposition your target. After that, click on this point. Okay. After clicking on this point, click on paste. Uncheck this box, delete optional, click OK. Now we need to keep some distance. I am taking it 1940. I am taking it 1940. Lock the position. Okay. We will give this 0, east position 0, north position 0, 
an elevation I'm giving 1940 or 1920 you can get okay click on this click anywhere on the screen now this has created now what we need to do select this So selecting the point delete optional click ok now select the point this is the point click here now this is also placed now what we need to do we need to create one more stair from this side to this side. For creating that, again, stair. Now select the top patch. This is the boundary. Selecting the top boundary. Now select the top plane. After selecting the plane, select the reference edge. This is the reference edge or vertical plane. Now this is the reference edge, now we can see that, go to top view, in top view, we need to place this at some point. For now I am putting it this point, click here and go to finish, after finishing it, what we need to do, click on this, selecting this and change this horizontal offset, change it to 1820 or 1830. Okay, you can change it to 1820 or 1830. Right click. Okay. After this, we need to change this top landing length. For that, go to this. Right click. Go to properties. And this again. Go to this false option. Right click. Apply. Make it true. Drop down this again, drag down, change this length to 1220. Okay, click on apply. You can see that also. Now it is placed correctly. Click on okay. Now our second stair is also placed. Now we need to make third stair also. For that, we need to place it from this to this lower portion. Okay, this lower portion. Or this lower portion. Okay, we can follow the same step for creating that stair also. Okay, I hope you understand this video. We will continue further modeling of our equipment rack in next video. Till then, thank you.